Welcome back to Upfront. It's been a good week. It's Wednesday. How you going, Kiels? Good. I mean, I've been better, but it's been a good week. I'll start off with Monday training session. It was the highlight of my week. Was it? Absolutely. Like, a good, like in a good way. The in video, way. not so much. The video was not good. Yep. Training, we trained really well. Yep. After training was when I really was at my happiest. That's good. Remember what happened, Mill? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to say this. It's been on my mind for the last three days. I knew you would bring this up. Okay, so Millie, trying to be the good person she is, suck up to the coach. No, picks up. I actually was going to – we were practising goal kicking – <laughs> My first time ever practising goal kicking. And I thought, what do you just kick it off a cone? And there was a cone <laughs> on the ground. That's actually why I picked yeah, I the remember cone that. up. You go, oh, we'll just kick it off the cone. Yeah. So, sorry, I wasn't being a sucker. I was picking the cone okay. up to kick off it. Um, <laughs> the cone was put down because there was a steaming pile of dog shit. <laughs> It was the sloppiest dog poo ever. It actually took me – like I looked at it for five seconds. I was thinking – Surely that can't be dog shit. It was so sloppy, like, and it was so big. I thought, surely that's mud. Like, there's it, someone's. There's been a water. <laughs> and you know what? About three people went to go pick it up earlier, and everybody said, "Don't pick it up! Don't pick it up!" <laughs> well, I didn't hear that. And oh I my look gosh. over at you though, and your legs are up in the air. You're laughing on the ground. <laughs> It was brilliant. Anyway, anyway, that was a highlight of my week, I will say. My week has been good, has been better in the past, but I'm still alive, so happy about that. Yeah. We hate losing and then the next couple of days after that are always not great, but... Short turnaround. Short turnaround for us. We've got a game on Thursday. I don't think we've ever had an NRW game on a Thursday. No, so it's just brought in this year with the gap in the broadcasting. So yes. they thought it'd be a good opportunity. I'm excited for it. I love it, especially off the back of a loss. It's good to yeah. get straight back into it. 100%. Last year for the Dragons, I did have a five-day turnaround, which is the same. We played on a Friday night and we played the Sunday the week before. There's a bit of controversy around the five days. Whether or, it's enough. Yeah, there was a fair bit of talking around it. Um, our coach at the time really didn't like that we were playing the five days. What are you, what's your thoughts on a five-day turnaround? I think if you're conditioned, you've done enough pre-season like, and you're doing your, your recovery, you're not trying to overcome an injury or whatever, um, it's sweet if you're fine. I actually um, asked like Romy and uh, Doozy who were playing on the Thursday, they, they yep. had the first five-day turnaround and I asked them afterwards how they like how they went into it and whether it was any different knowing that we had the Thursday game this yep. week. And they said, no, nah, we were actually sweet. Wish we could use it for an ex- as an excuse <laughs> that we oh. lost. But they said they were fine. Yeah. I do think like maybe the first week's a bit rough. Yeah, first week is so rough. so sore for the so long. The first week's always hard. But where it's an even playing field. It's not like one team's doing five days, the other one's got three days or something. Yeah. Both five days. We're at the point now where you need to prioritise and we get paid substantial money. Yeah, to take money. time off work and yep. to go and – Train and yep. to go away if you need to play. Exactly. So I actually love it. Yeah, Wednesday captain's run. It's yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Be good. Round two. Round two already. I know. Well, Crazy. no, last week was round yeah. two. Yeah. Done. Um, it kicked off on Thursday night with the Bronx and the Titans at the Gabba. Yeah. The second ever Golden Point field goal. That's pretty crazy. Second ever. That's been the second ever. The no, there's one. been one more, hasn't there? Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. There's been one more. No, I thought I thought there'd be three. No, there's been Rachel in, the, in Golden Point. Oh, though. yep, yep, yep. Golden, that's what I said. Yeah, there's been field goals, but like ah, in Golden Point. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, Bronx were up. They were had all the possession. Uh, they were dominant. Once that momentum flicks, it's hard to get back, isn't it? It but is. Looked like Bronx were just a little bit un like. How to get to a field goal. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, I think obviously they had both their wingers out, yeah. which for Broncos, Julia Robson obviously is one of the best in the competition. Yeah. She gets She's through so, good. so many metres. Yeah. So I think having her, that's probably one of the only games she hasn't played yeah. for Broncos. I think she was a big miss for them. Mm. And then towards the end of the game, the offside, yes! off the kickoff. That's actually unforgivable. I wouldn't. That's hot. It is hard. And then obviously 
Titans got the field got goal the field straight, goal after, straight that, after that. Kicked it down, which isn't like it shouldn't have come down to that, but at the end of the day, that's what it did come down to. Yeah. There's a few very, very good players for Titans. Yes. One of my favourites, Shannon Mato. What a weapon. She is a freak. She is so good. So one of the best props in the game. Yep. So much aggression. She's gotten so fit. Yeah. Um, we actually played uh, flankers together in rugby union. I so didn't know this. Really? Yeah, I didn't know she came from union. Yes. So we played um, – at the Reds together and then we played Wallaroos together and then we were actually at Broncos and we were looking for another prop. It was my first year, like it was in the sec- leading into the second year of me playing NLW and I said, Shannon, you've got to come and play league. Like, I didn't know this. Yeah. I oh was like, you gosh. will not even know yourself like coming from Rugby Australia <laughs> yes. over to NRL. Yeah. So, Yeah. Oh, small world. Anyway, small world. 250 metres plus. Seriously, weapon. So good. I will also add, if you heard my little story about last week, I'm not going to go too much into it, but we did find out it was Shannon Mater. <laughs> <laughs> she messaged me and there was a screenshot of her group chat. <laughs> yeah. About the little embarrassing incident on the field, if you listen to last week. But yeah. that is funny because it's Shannon. Yes. And once and she, she tells said people, it, it's funny. I know. It is actually hilarious. And once she said it, I remembered straight away it was her. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, another player I thought yes, was exceptional. Seriously, how does this girl do it? Georgia Hale. 50, 50 tackles, tackles. Zero, zero missed. missed. What, what a freak. What? Okay. Obviously with the extra time. So it did go into the second half. Like that definitely adds a factor, playing an extra five minutes. Yep. Like that, those two players are definitely crucial to being on the field mm-hmm. in that time. But seriously, 50 tackles. That's, Zero miss. That's a lot. So impressive. Ever since 2018, she was one of my favourite players yeah. to watch. And well, because she came across as a half. Like well, she's half, hooker, utility. Utility. Who is a lead in all of them. She wasn't just like a utility who can do she wasn't the job. good at – like, you know, great at none, good at all. She was great at all. Yeah. So she's been one of my favourite players since I was very young. Mm. But her tackle technique has been so good since then. I reckon she's probably missed 10 tackles over the last Yeah. Not like four us, years. missed 10 in the last two games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's just she's a, a weapon. So Got good. really good footwork into her tackle and... So good at wrestling too. Yeah. And I think God. going forward that experience. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> but um, her experience in the front row, like in the in middle, middle, so important. There's not going to be players. Yeah, you're like, definitely confident depth. playing alongside her. Yeah, and the depth is just not there in the NRLW. So yeah. having a player like Georgia Hale, captain now, she's, mm. she was so good. Hectic. So good. I know. It's like Samima. They're pretty, they're pretty like for like, to be honest. Mm. They're a little bit different, but like they're both yeah. workhorses yeah, and absolutely. like that smaller body in the middle. Absolutely. Yes. So that was my thoughts on the game. Nice. Yeah. Anything else to add to that? Good kick by Loz. So good. Oh, wasn't it random? I just thought it was so weird she was coming off the bench though. Yeah, that was weird. I did find it. What's going on there? Yes. But she she's a fresh starter. Leg. She's she, a lot. She's a starter in the hooker role. But the, the hard thing is Brito's the same. Yeah. I feel like they're both starting players. They're both like – She was named at nine, so it's funny that they swapped last minute. No. I thought they would have, if anything, put her in the halves because of their fooey being down. That's what I was thinking. But it didn't happen like that. And it worked also, out for them. the two halves did so well, so well. They just controlled the game, especially they towards did. the back end. They just got their kicks better in repeat sets. They were awesome. They did really, really well. Yeah. Um, my favourite part of the game, though, when Loz Brown – Hit the field goal. Oh, yeah. The celebration. Okay, the celebration was great. But have you ever seen a water boy? Ever so excited. Trainer. I hope our water boy gets that. Seriously, <laughs> if he, if Callie is not jumping in straight away, I think Aaron Booth was the first person He was the to first celebrate. person in there. Like he, it was kick, <laughs> it was off the toe and he knew it was going over. He was celebrating. <gasps> that it was, was in the hilarious. air. hilarious. That actually. It was really good. I keep thinking about it. It makes me laugh. It is. So it funny. is. It's good to see. It's good to see everyone getting into it. <laughs> anyway, next game. Our next game, game down in Canberra. Yeah, we had the next game. Saturday morning felt like morning. It was 12 o'clock or something, but mm. it was an early game considering we played like at 8 o'clock the week before. Yeah. Um, look, I think we were still on the bus on that game. 
didn't get off. Uh, unfortunately, not really. It's Look, terrible. Wasn't a good day for us, but it was a great day for the Raiders. Well, it was first wasn't ever it? home game. First ever home game. Viking clap, clap as they were running out. Like the people that were already there for the girls' game. Like it was so cool. The Viking really. clap was sick. I was like doing. I wasn't doing the Viking clap, but I gave them a little like. <laughs> Obviously, like I little... said I didn't. No, I gave them like a little <laughs> clap, like a cheer as they ran out because yeah, I was nice. like, that's so cool. It was cool. It made me excited for the yeah. game. It made me excited and then I was like, mm. <laughs> awesome. <gasps> but I thought Canberra played exactly. Exactly how we thought they would play. Yeah. They obviously didn't have a trial game. So the first game for them, I feel like they were finding their feet, working out how to play together. By the second game, they were so tough through the middle. They had their ball players all linking up. They were really good. They all just had their roles and it came from Zahara. She's so good. She tells everyone what to do, where to lay it, what's – like she wants a quick play of the ball, she knows what she wants. And also that was the game where she became the first NLW player to get 100 points. Look, I know the NLW started in 2018 but we did mention – there's only three or four games in those first couple of years. Would it have taken you 100 years to reach Daily Cherry Evans' milestone? That's not possible. And not having missed a game. And not having <laughs> missed a game, okay? So 100, 100 points. points is a massive achievement yes. for anyone, let alone in the NOW for the little amount of games that we've played. So for her to do that at home on their first win is very fairy tale. Yes. Massive Andy. congratulations. Yes. Massive congratulations. To Z, to Samima. Yeah, they they are going to – that's going to set them off now. They're 100%. going to get massive confidence from that game. They know their strengths and we will I, – I honestly take confidence from that game as well because, like, I know that we can't play that bad. So, like, yeah. I'm glad we've got it out of the way with. Yeah. And that's absolutely no disrespect to Raiders. They, put, they played us out of the game. Yeah. So we know what we have to do next time. Absolutely, and I think Zahara's kicking in it's field underrated. was so good. I said it on commentary the other day, but the early kick hasn't been a tactic used very often yeah. in the women's game. I feel like it's really only been last year, maybe this year. She did it so well. Caught us off guard a few times. You've been doing a bit of commentary, yeah? No, I just Blair. thought I'd slot that in there. So. <laughs> Love um, that. But she – has been the first one I really think to put it into practice yeah. and so and you're good. not you like your wingers aren't back your fullbacks not really positioned we're not putting as much pressure on hardly any if, pressure if, you're, if they're just transitioning into good ball it's like yeah very it's underutilized yeah sure. and then she has the skill execution to get it where it needs yeah. to be which is only a very few players in the comp can do yeah. that, I, I believe. Yeah. But she was just so good and yeah. they were all on the same page. But We weren't really like – I'm surprised we were that in the game, to be honest, like with the score. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't feel like we were ever that um, close to them. We didn't yeah. play that well. Yeah, absolutely. What I will bring up though, and we'll put up the little clip because it is so funny. My so favourite part of the game. The fa- My favourite part of the game. And even afterwards it was something to laugh about because yes. it was funny. So Taryn Aiken, Zahara put a kick through, Taryn Aiken trapped it, picked it up, ran the length, but she did look like she was on a treadie. Like she did so well. I couldn't even – I was not anywhere close. I was at the 10 metre line. I was just thinking please score, like yes. please score. And then we look back on the video. Cooper found it. My partner actually sent me a video straight away while it was happening. Okay. Keely Joseph <laughs> is in the background. You can see her two fingers crossed. Bright red she's face. Got bright red face, like <laughs> struggling to move. She's <laughs> And she's got her eyes closed. <laughs> she's still running. She's like this. <laughs> Please get to the try line. Please. And she's slowly jogging. Like, and then How do you even have that energy to hold your hands up? Like just run. Yeah. And then she tells us she does that every time there's a break. She does the double cross. And then once they score, she does the little jump up and yes, down. And the little clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> the clip in this is going to be great. It's going to be so good. Oh. Keely, we love you. She's the best. She's the best. So but a lot of props would be feeling her pain. 100%. I feel that. That's what I mentally want to do. Yeah. But I, I don't have the energy to even do it. I was. She was still jogging behind. I was stuck at that 10 metre line. Yeah. Like if Did she doesn't see, score, this what is What about Izzy was on her support? Izzy nearly overtook her three times. 
She was he was like, Jogging next Still to her. here, slowing down. <laughs> oh, too good. Oh God. Anyway. Silver lining. Hats off huh. to your Raiders. Well done. <laughs> Very good game by them. Very good. Keen to see what they do with the rest of the competition. Yes. Very that brings excited. us to game three. Eels v Dragons. We watched this one while I did very closely. We obviously have Dragons this mm. week. So very close watch. I watched it on the bus on the way back. Yes. Um, in between watching the Knights men's team Flog the Raiders. How good was that? <laughs> it was good. It was I liked good. the post try little fade celebration. Yeah, that was cool. That was good. They've been like wondering what they're going to do all week. They're like, what should I do? What should I do? So funny. I'm like, Adam, you going to worry about one of those? You going to score a try yet or what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, go back to our game. You scored a try. I did score a try. What happened to the celebration? It was not a time to celebrate. It wasn't. We were behind. We were playing shit footy. <laughs> Listen, and it was the ugliest try I will ever score in my life. There's nothing it was, wrong with a pick and go. It was like ugly, but anyway, got it down. You had a, you were on a mission. You put it down. You got it back past the kicker run back. <laughs> yeah, we on I'm a, like, come on, what happened to doggies? <laughs> on a time watch, let's get this done. Actually, you know what? I was going to do the Piggy Riddell. I was going to do no, it. No, you weren't. I promise you. I said you to weren't. Taz. I said to Taz, if I score a try, I'm doing the Piggy Riddell. Wait. Imagine if you did it at that time. I would have got booed. I would have said sub her. Strangely would have ripped me off the field by my extensions. <laughs> and said, do not ever put this jersey on your back again. You're dropped for next week. I would have been dropped. Oh, fire out. Anyway, no celebrating. Well, no more celebrating anymore. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Well, the tri- charge lies over, so you'd just be doing it for yourself. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, make up for it. <laughs> Eels v Dragons. Yes. Tegan Berry. She was good. She she's was really, really good. I feel like she's really starting to come into that fullback role, getting more confidence every week. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And a bit of getting her playing. hands on the ball yeah. a lot more with the ball played, especially close to the line. The week before, she scored a try exactly the same mm. way. In that 10 metres, eyes up, sees a bit of space mm. and just gets it and her pace just gets it to the line. Yeah. So it's good to she'll be it. one to watch this weekend or tomorrow. I saw something that she said. Um, it was like something about her switching from wing to fullback and I was like, it said on it, sorry, yeah, when you're on the wing, you don't really do much and like you know, an opportunity comes here and there but it's pretty like she pretty much – didn't say it was boring but you know it's a lot more exciting to be involved in the game more yeah I'm like that's is that really what wingers do that's what are you doing actually (laughs) what sorry can we just jump a couple of games yeah here we go China Pilata okay no we're bringing that up when we talk about it okay well I'm just going to mention now in case follow the agenda I'm not going to forget we've got an agenda for a reason this kills me I'm going to start hosting this because you just jump back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. (laughs) You can't. I said, I want you to do the intro and you're like this. No, you're barred. You're barred. (laughs) One game at a time, Millie Boyle. We'll talk about that when we talk about that. Okay. Okay, back to Teak and Berry. Yes. You get a lot more involved at fullback. (laughs) But wingers do back a field carries and can get involved as much as they like. They can get involved as much as they like, yes. But some of them don't. I would absolutely love to play one game on the wing. I would love it. No, I wouldn't. You don't reckon? No. If you could play anywhere, one position for one game, what would it be? Uh, I would love centre or wing. Centre. It'd be so much fun. I I would like fullback too, but if I was just for one game, like Mm. if I had to pick another position to play forever, be fullback, a lot of fun. But just for a game, yeah, centre or wing. Okay, I reckon... If you were asking me, yeah, um, I am. <laughs> I reckon centre, yeah, just because they're like fast and score tries, and you can like if you see the play, if you see the balls coming out of the back, and it's the only option, you just shut it down. Yeah, that's what I miss about playing five eight is the decision making yeah. with defence. There's not much decision making in the middle. If you're there, you go up, you tackle. Literally, you are stuck in that cycle. washing machine. It's literally just. What tackle am I going to use? Tackle selection. Oh, not I don't really. Even think about that. <laughs> I just think get there. You just go. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Wrestle it to the ground. Well, I did realize it's my turn to sit on the good seat. Yeah. <laughs> <You're- laughs> even though you haven't had the best week either, so we swap back. 
That's so if you watch on YouTube. Nice <laughs> yeah, sorry. Can I also just say to the people that watch this on YouTube, I thought that like I thought you listened to podcasts. We, Charlie has told us, our producer, has said that we get way more downloads on YouTube. So weird. But thank you. But thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very Can't much. Can't believe you want to see these mugs talking. Yeah. <laughs> Let alone listen, listen. to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, back anyway, to the Dragons Eels game and the winger situation. Yes, I think I would love to play center or wing. It'd be fun. Yeah, just to center, do center. less defense for a game. Like tackling, it's good, but just to see what it's like. Yeah, be fresh for those moments to score. I will say though, Fres made twenty-seven tackles in that center on the weekend. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. That is abnormal. For a centre, but we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Skipping. All right. Um, and I feel like with Eels, obviously – They're this still is down. Like um, they don't have Rachel Pearson, their halfback, and they still don't have their, their starting prop. Like that's still a big factor. Absolutely. That – I think it just shows the depth of the competition. Yeah. They're their two recruits from the, like their biggest from recruits. outside of the Eels from last year. Yeah. And they're both injured, which – is really unfortunate. They're still injured for this week, or else is named on the extended. Is bench. she? Well, yeah. hopefully she's back because she'll make a big difference in that middle third. I think her energy. I was looking at just the stats. Not, I think only two players got over 100 meters. So else mm. will do that easily and just bring him a bit of go forward. Um, and then obviously when Rachel's back, her kicking game is mm. exceptional as well. So she'll get him on the front foot a bit more. But yeah, that's just so unfortunate for the Eels with their two main mm. recruits being injured. That is. Hopefully back soon and they can get their ball rolling a bit more. And you know what as well? We've had a few injuries as well and there's no one really out there because there's the comp's so big at the moment. Like the depth is challenged to even put a squad together. Yep. And then it's like are the development players up to it to be brought in but who else is out there, especially in key positions? Yeah, oh, absolutely. I think... Like you said, the development girls, they're there for that reason usually. But at other clubs, development have already been used as well. So, yeah. We're, and got, we're only in round – we've only had two rounds. Yeah. So it's going to be a thing that definitely pops up towards round six, seven. Teams are going to get new girls in. Where they get them from, I don't know. Mm. But that's the issue with expanding quickly. Yes. I will say there was so many upsets though this week. Yes. Well, I wouldn't say upsets. I would say probably pain a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Brings us to game four. Yes. Knights, Cowboys. I commentated this game. <laughs> <laughs> nice kills. So did you. I did too for opposing yes. broadcasters. Do we not mention them? Yeah. I with nine. And I just did a little work with Fox. Nice. Fox They'll bloody sleep. take anyone these days, won't they? Uh, Letting you and I in there. Absolutely. They must be low on numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will, like if if they start listening to Fox and want to change over to nine, nine they're going like, to be stuck with actually Millie. Said, I actually feel sorry for them. <laughs> uh, they're going to have to mute us. Anyway. But what a game. What a game. Newcastle. All momentum for Newcastle to begin with. Rima Butler was giving them grief. Hell. Yeah. She they didn't want to tackle her. But yeah, the rock speed they were generating towards the start. Newcastle were just all over them. Liv Higgins is such a great, great hooker. hooker. She makes great decisions around the rock. I think she had three scoots in the first Probably three. Probably made sets. like fifteen meters on each one. Yeah. yeah. So that's very in indicative of a quick play the ball if yep. you've seen your hooker get out three times. Yeah. Um, Cowboys though did so well to wrestle back that momentum. So good. And I will mention as well, Cowboys had a lot of um, ex-Knights players yes. playing. So yes. they had Kira Dib, mm -hmm. who used to partner Jesse in the halves. Yes. Uh, they had Mackenzie Wheel, who started at lock. They had Emma Manselman starting hooker. Bree Chester uh, starting back row. They also have Mia Middleton, um, but she was um, development still, still on suspension. Still, oh yeah, Sorry. Um, suspended. But yeah, um, Bree and Mia were were development. So for those girls to go up there and come away with a win against their, you know, reigning premiers, yeah, 
massive for them. So Huge good for their confidence. So good for the way that they're going to play. They've got their first home game this weekend and they are going to be like feel on top of the world. Yeah. First win in history for the Cowboys. Yeah. So good. But I was really impressed with how they played. They were, Kira really took control of the team. She did. Kicked she the corners. She had some great kicks. She got a 40-30. She did. And she they really took advantage um, – Tamika had the sun in her eyes that whole first half and she made her pay for that. Yeah, and I literally said, I've never seen the ball bounce. So much around Tamika. Well, I said I said it before it happened. I yeah. said, Tamika's the best in the game. Yep. I've never seen a ball bounce. Yep. Then there was about three ball bounces after that. I said the same thing. That. I'm like, like, that's very <laughs> uncharacteristic. Of <laughs> but it, the sun was such a big sun. factor. You saw the eye, hand over the eyes and they were playing at like what, 12 o'clock, like yeah. the sun, 12 to one o'clock like the sun is right there yeah so cowboys just was so gritty showed so much resilience and just such a great platform for them to build off week in week out also i will say now i get to say it and i don't get my head bitten off china palata <laughs> china palata last week started on the wing yes she had some great hits some great carries this week she's been upgraded she gets to start at prop. <laughs> you know what? Has that ever happened before? Uh, Men or women? Okay. Has anyone started at, with, on the wing and then gone to the middle? Well, I'll give you a little one. Okay. Not the same. Similar. You. Another. No, uh, it's not all about <laughs> me, Millie. Another cowboy. Jack Granville. He yeah, went from true. fullback to lock, plays a bit of hooker. He's, he's very versatile. Must be a cowboy's thing, something in the water up there. It is. Well, they just do the job they need to do. Yeah. Oh, different. But Ruben Cotter. Yeah, exactly. Hooker, lock, prop, second row. Whatever they need to do. But very impressive and I love that change for her. I feel like she can get her hands on the ball more. Hands on the ball more, aggressive, her defence and she's fit. So it's just a really good change. Uh, Big body. I think like I'd love to see her in back row but second I think row. for the Cowboys team. I think they actually need her in the middle. That's what I think. To hold, hold some of that together. But my favourite player of the game. Sarika Muka. She was great. Her impact yep. off the bench. Their impact was great. So good. She played exactly how she played in the Indigenous All-Stars. Mm. She swung momentum when she came, came on. Great carries. Her defence was so solid. She was leading line speed. Love how she played. Is that the sister of um, Steph, Muka? Steph Muka? I think they're cousins. Cousins. But From the local Cowboys girl. So good. So, North Queensland. Yeah. Very happy for them. First win, they'll build so much from that. And they've got a double header this weekend. Double header home. back home. And Townsville, as we know, they will be there to support. Do you know what time that game is? I will check. Okay, we'll have a look after. Have a little look. All right. But it's just before the men on anyway, we'll talk about preview yeah. previews later. later. But on the nights, I thought, yeah, obviously they had such good good momentum to start with. Just a couple errors, swung momentum and probably not the best areas they wanted to finish on. Mm. But they, I think they'll build from that. Yeah, like, they will. Oh, for sure. Like everyone has a loss. Like yeah. that's what makes you better. But um, I feel like Cowboys and the players that used to be at the Knights took advantage of the players that they knew like and, and their characteristics, for yeah. instance. Like yeah. Emma Manselman running around the ruck when at the timings that she knew, you know, where the, the middles were yeah. a bit disconnected and that, you know, they probably were just about to come off. She's taking those scoots and, and putting them on the back foot. Yeah, absolutely. Very smart. And Kira with her kick in. Yeah. And the offloads were killing yes. Newcastle. So good. Second phase play. Second phase. And they had nothing to lose. They just kept, kept they were up life. and they kept bloody throwing offloads and passing in their end goal. <laughs> yeah. That was really good to see. Yep. Love that. Next game. The last game, game of, of the, the round. round. Tigers versus Sharks. It was straight after. Yes, I was super interested to watch this game. Love watching all games. But this one in particular, just because I felt like it was really hard to gauge how they both were in the first week. Yeah. Obviously, both impressive got a win. I ti Tigers defence was so good. So good. It was only 10-0. No one scored a point in the second half. And there were plenty of opportunity for the Sharks to score. Yeah. Plenty. And the Tigers just kept coming up with the answer to whatever they were throwing at them. Yeah, really good scramble. And it was all effort. Yeah, all, all effort. effort. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, we saw Emma 
Tonegato. Yeah, Tonegato. Go off with a little calf injury. Which she's probably had with about 10, 15 to go or something. I think a bit longer. 20. Yeah. Which, uh, not good. Not good. Not good especially Calves are never good. With Jada Taylor already being out. Yeah, I saw her in a moon boot. Yes. There. So two key players to their spine. But who played very well the week before and were in. What would know, you do with them two out, Mill? What would I do? I would. Wait, who's their team again? Well, they've got. So number 14 was Seri. Yeah. Um, Seriana, who yep. came on as in lock in and then moved to six, who got two steals in the space of two minutes. She was thief in the night, wasn't she? She's honestly scored they so still- many tries like that. You used to play with that at Mounties. And the way she steals it, she's sprinting yeah. within seconds. Yeah. And she's yeah, she's a freak at that. Yeah. She's a great player. I would I would play her at six. Right. Um I'd play at her at six. Okay. She's a really, really good player. If so. And then Andy Robinson to full back. Yep. Keep her there. Yep. Yes. She did well. She had some great little touches and confident catching on the full and stuff. Yeah. And she's so Returning the ball incredibly back. fit. Yeah. She was going to the end of the game. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Really good. But yeah, it was definitely, I mean, Salah Tongatuki had another big game. Kezi Apps had a big game. Um, Leanne. Uh, Tafunga had a big game. Just like there were a couple of big hits yep. that led to something bigger afterwards. Yeah. So it's like the moments that change the game and then it was like they were all doing it for each other. Yeah. They that's, weren't that's it what wasn't I got selfless. It, it was like um, Kezi actually put on a big good hit on the line yes. and then that led to a Leanne. slow play of the ball and then that led to Leanne Tafunga's um, big hit and then that made them spill the ball and then Jakaya Whitfield, who was our youth ex- youth uh, player of the round last week, yes. um, <laughs> was so busy all game asking questions of the Knights, the ho- sorry, the Sharks the whole time yep. and ends up getting – follows her centre in and, and gets a runaway try. Like, Yeah, but just that urgency to firstly make the tackle, then get on the ball, it's things like that yep. that made Tigers really good. Yeah. So I'm sure they're stoked with that and they're, they're a good team. Yeah, Very are. good team. All on Oi, the same they're page. two from two. Two from two, top of the table. Them and the Titans. Yep. Interesting. Very interesting. That wraps up our games of round two. Yes. We've got a few games coming up. Yep. Do you have the games coming up? Yeah. Okay. Well, Us. game one. <laughs> Thursday night. Yeah, we're playing. We've got captains run today and we are playing St. George tomorrow in our first home game. Roosters v Dragons yes. at the SCG. First home game. I forgot yeah. about that. How'd you forget? Well, I just didn't think about it for a minute. But mm. I'm so excited. Yes. I cannot wait. I can't wait too. It's going to be so much fun. SCG, I've never played there but it looks incredible. I have and I lost so I won't bring that up. You just see. <laughs> Again. <laughs> anyway, um, Dragons obviously off a big win. Yeah. So excited about yep. that. Yep. Jamie Soward, very confident. It's very good. Yep. They should be confident they played well last week. Yes. But, yeah, I'm sure we're all keen to get to captain's run today. Yeah. Just be better than we were last week. 100%. You can't play that bad two games in a row. That's what I'm thinking. (laughs) (laughs) I think we'll be looking to make amends. We will be. We've got had a couple of changes in our team actually. Yes. One very very big change. My good friend Gracie Hamilton, who I also played – Rugby with, um, with Shannon and everyone um, for the Wallaroos. She was actually their captain for many years. She, in the COVID period when they weren't playing any rugby at all, she came over with a couple of the rugby girls. Yes. She played with the Roosters in that 2020 season, I think it was. She was really good. She was great, good. solid, but still very new to the game. Yeah. Um, look, she's been, I wouldn't, she's been a very late call up. And uh, I think she signed a contract and then went to training on Monday. Like it was yeah. so quick. Yeah, but obviously with Emma Hall. With Emma Hall going down, we've had a couple of others as well. Yeah. But we needed another middle rotation and I'm she fit in so well. Yeah. She like was it was awesome. her first session. 
So good. We always said we just did a few. Make sure you play the ball. Don't place it backwards. <laughs> Stay on the tackle a little bit longer. Yeah. She's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. She's obviously v- really experienced in rugby union. Yeah. But just been around that head, professional environment for so long. Exactly. Training. Exactly. So I'm really excited to see her into yes. the, the team. and She'll be coming off the bench. Off the bench, yep. I'm really excited. She brings so much aggression. There's not many players left out there, I don't think, and we're very, very lucky to We've have her. We've got a good her. one. We've got, We've a, got a very a good, good one. one. So, yep, that's Thursday, which is tomorrow at 5.40 SCG. That's you want to watch it? Yes. The next game, I'm super excited to see this, Cowboys v Broncos. Yeah, I'm excited. So Cowboys I off a win, Broncos off two losses. Two losses. And is at Townsville. I think. Ooh, at 12.50. Yeah, that's going to be Townsville. hot. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be. Can you look up the weather while, while yeah. you're at it? Um, look, if it was hot, <laughs> it was hot in Canberra. <laughs> it was so hot in Canberra. <laughs> I'm not we even joking. We in Canberra. And I was thinking, this is a heat wave for Canberra. Yeah. I got These guys have got to play in Townsville. Yeah, at 12.50. I'm not going to lie, I didn't search the weather, but I reckon it'll be hot. Well, it was also, it was a hot weekend because it was hot in Sydney and it looked like by the end of the game it had played into the town, into the Cowboys' favour Yeah, with them beating the Knights. Yes, well, one thing I did notice about that game was their fitness to I'm good friends with their assistant, Alicia, yep. Kate Hawke, and she was saying they were getting flogged pretty much four days a week because they had so many... So this is the Cowboys yep. because they had so many girls that hadn't played NRLW. Yeah, they they had too. a big emphasis on just getting them up to be mentally tough, being yep. used to going through hard things mm. physically. So I think that really showed against Newcastle how strong they were at the back end. Yep. So I think that's going to be a really big positive for them going for sure. into a Cowboys home game midday. I'm actually worried for the Bronx. I want them to get a win. They don't deserve three losses in a row. Mm. It's going to be, I'm calling it now, game of the round. Game of the round. I like it. That's my game of the round. Have you got a pick for it? I'm going to go Broncos. I was going to say Broncos, but now I feel like I've got to go Titans. Sorry, Cowboys. (laughs) All right, next game. Skipping straight past that. Yeah, let's go. Okay, 3.10 on the Saturday, we've got Sharks versus Titans and that's at points bet. That will be a good game. It will be. I hope Emma's back. She's on the team list at this stage but if not, I'm – Harada Butler also yep. suspended hip drop tackle from last week. Yep. Yeah, so they're, they're going to need to use They'll their depth her. a fair bit. Um, it's, it's a hard one to judge. Depending on what they do with Emma and Jada, obviously as well, yeah. their spine is just so good with both They're of those very plays. Fast. In, very fast, all on the same page. So, Titans, on the other hand, in the same situation with Fui out. Yeah, but they play, already played without her, yeah. and they did really well. Yeah. So second in Titans versus sixth in Sharks. I'm backing. To be honest, I'm backing the Titans. I think their They've forwards will just forwards, be yeah, really big, strong. Good forwards. They're doing well. Yeah. The Titans. But that will be another good game to watch anyway. Yep. Okay, then we get to Sunday. We've got Knights versus Eels. Eels. That's in the middle of the day. 12.03. Yes. Have you ever seen that? What? 12.03. Is it really? Show me. I'm not lying. I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. Well, I'm telling you. It says 12.03. <laughs> Is that a typo? I don't know. Anyway. Eels, Elsie is named on the reserves. She's Maybe back. she might be brought back in. That'll be really good because Newcastle mm. have some big forwards who are strong, get momentum, so Elsie will be able to slow that down. Look, Knights, similar to us, have come off probably a loss that they didn't expect. Yep. And I think they'll be looking to make amends massively. Yep. Knights All attack as well. When they're gelling, it is it's, they can get a lot of points. Yeah. So yeah, I think Knights will have a big win yeah. in that one. And then the last game of the round, is this exciting or what? Tigers in first, Raiders in eighth. That will be a great game. Yeah. Obviously Raiders off a big win. 
got that first game out of the way and Tigers off some – Off a two wins. Two wins. That'll be good. I think Raiders will get it. I was going to say that too. You keep saying what I'm going to say. Well, you can say it too. Yeah, well, I do think opinion. if they've still got the same team, whereabouts is it? It is at GIO. Oh, yeah, you can't. You can't go against them. You know what? It is such a big factor because it's not far enough to fly. So the bus down is actually going to be a factor that you don't you don't like think the travel about it, and stuff. but the travel is a factor. So Are you I trying think, to make excuses for our loss? No, I'm not. I'm genuinely not, but it is something that is a factor. Okay. And yeah. I'm just looking at their pain. Tigers is paying 185. Raiders is paying 195. Ooh, that's close. That is close and I think that's how the game's going to be. Close. Yes. I think Tigers will go down in that game just. Just. Yeah, I think so I too. Think just. Tigers will, I mean, Raiders will have it over them. Yep. Especially at home. Yep. I think Zahara Temura, she'll be too good. I think she'll be kicking like a demon. Yep. That wraps us up. For our little preview. Wraps us up for it's our preview. Very exciting round three. It I is. cannot wait to it's watch it. It's getting so good, especially after last week. Seriously, how good is it? Anyone could win all of the games. Yeah. And you know what? I will say, I thought the expansion was way too early. And I thought NRL would jump in the gun with the 10 teams. But after the weekend, they would, that NRL would be like, yes. This is exactly what we wanted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it and is I, so good though. It, it is, is really awesome. Good. I think it just shows that there's young girls coming through who are doing a job. I think it's working right now. Yeah. However, we've already seen so many injuries and it's round two. Yeah. We want to be playing our best footy towards the back end of the competition leading into finals. Are we going to see that if some big key players are out? Yeah, and that's, that's the thing. It, that's the biggest thing. We're only on round two. Yeah. It is going to – do it really well. Yeah. It definitely will see a drop towards the back end, I think. But that's just what it is. At the yeah. moment, it's killing it. So credit to the NRL. When we go on our little trips on like if we're waiting for something or if we're on the bus or we're rolling, stretching, whatever it is, us, our Roosters team, we play this little game. It's I been going know. around a lot. It's been going around. I don't know like where it it's came from. It's on a podcast. Sorry? It's on this girl's podcast. Is it on a girl's podcast? I think Is that so. why? I think so. Okay. Well, anyway, someone's picked it up, brought it into our team and it goes like this. Okay. You sing it as well. Okay. If, if you, you know the words to this song, sing along, sing along. Are you going? No, you go first. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's so hard to think of a song. I've got spot. one. Okay. I've got one. Okay, you go. I can. I can. Go ahead. I will say this is not my strength. I'm no, really bad okay. with lyrics. Can I actually disclaimer? <laughs> you going back to a couple of episodes ago, I noted you do not know song lyrics. Yeah. So you've done this to me two or three times, and you start singing the lyrics. And they're the wrong lyrics, so yeah. I can't get the song. I had to search this one. So you actually know yep. the song? Yeah. So it's, I can. I can't feel my face when no, I'm with wrong. you. Uh, I can. Yeah, you've said that ten times. Okay. I don't know. Give me a little bit more. I can. <laughs> I'm doing it one more time. I can all. I can almost see it. That dream I'm dreaming. dreaming. Yeah. Okay, nice. You got it. Good job. Okay, my Good turn. job. Okay. okay. Okay, let's actually speed it up a little bit and like let's not mess around anymore. Okay, ready? <laughs> if you know the, the words, words to this song, song sing, sing along, sing along. La girl is on fire. You didn't even listen. Oh. La. Last night we let the liquor talk. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's good fun. It is good fun. If you get bored, it's pretty fun. That obviously shows we get bored a lot. <laughs> and But it's good when you've got lots of people. And actually, you weren't in the room the other day, but we were doing genres. So we had like Ooh, rap, country, I love pop, that. So Fresh, hits of 2010. Oh, I love that. That was a good one. That is Early great. 2000s, So Fresh is a really good genre. Yeah. Anyway. I almost forgot to speak about this. We were just out the door. 
got to come back. So I was listening to James Graham's interview on the buy round. <sighs> and plug. Little, little plug. And um, he had <laughs> – Touch that juice. <laughs> um, Wayne Pearson, who was saying he obviously played in the 70s and yes. 80s, was he anus. was saying when the players scored a try that they would bring up their occupation down the bottom. Yes. How good would that be for the female game? 100% for the women's game because we've got – we've all got stuff outside. Wouldn't it be so cool if someone's just like scored a try and it says chippy? Yeah, and also train crane driver. Yeah, that's what they are. Electrician, love that. So good. So, just thought Chef. I'd put it out there. What do we think, guys? Yes yeah. or no to that? I think yes. If that was going out to me, me too. What would yours say? It would say entrepreneur <laughs> 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 slash reality TV watcher <laughs> slash trophy girlfriend because I'm not a wife yes. slash. Personal trainer <laughs> slash that's about it. What would you say? I don't even know. Slash business woman. Slash finger in too many pies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have to slow that down, really. You can't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> you need to say finger in too many pies. Don't merge those. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm saying I do a lot of stuff, so there'd have to be a lot of slashes, or I'd have to choose one that takes up most of my time. Yeah, you can choose one. Yeah, but I like that. So Wayne Pierce was saying that. Yeah, actually, also slash philanthropist of mine. <laughs> right. What what money do you give to what foundations to help well, people in need? I don't think you remember Millie when we went to the toad race. <laughs> You didn't give money. I did to the Surf Life Saving Club. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> I did. Just because you didn't see it. <laughs> you I like to do things discreetly. I don't need to be splashing my money around in front of you. <laughs> anyway, I want to put that little clip up and see what the people think. Do you want to see? I'd love I to think, see it. I think it'd be moment. cool. And also if they're a mum. Yes. That'd be awesome. And the name of their kids. No, no, okay, no, okay. No, 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 that's a bit invasion of privacy. Okay, but because at the Sorry. moment it has like ten NRLW games. Yeah, that doesn't that really that means four years of hard work. <laughs> yeah, like it's a little <laughs> bit embarrassing at the moment. Yeah, like so, we can't help that we haven't played many games. Yeah, so you don't have to put up the amount of games or tries because for Keely it's two in six years. Okay, you bloody big try scorer. I'm not. I'm just saying it's funny. I'm going to give you a falcon on the weekend. <laughs> You're the one who looks stupid. Uh, anyway, guys, that was it. That was it. I love it. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.